Before we start to make baskets, we need to know some simple weaving techniques. So the next four videos, I'll be showing you the four different weaves that you need to make quite a variety of baskets. The most important tools in basket weaving are our hands. And as we normally weave to the right, our most important tool is our left thumb and forefinger which controls the weave. This video concerns the weaving technique called randing. Randing describes the technique of using a single rod which is woven inside and outside alternate uprights. As we can see our left thumb and forefinger hold the rod tight against the upright as our right hand moves the weaving rod in and out as we move across the basket. So when we're beginning English rounding, we start with a butt behind an upright and our left thumb holds the rod against the upright once we have the upright into position. We move the basket to the left as we weave to the right. And the single rod is woven until we get back to where we started, where the thick end or butt is placed. This rod is then cut off if there's any left, and the second rod is put in place in the space to the right of where the first one started. And then we hold and weave as before in and out and subsequent rods are placed in to the right. French randing, on the other hand, is where we place all the rods into position on the basket before we start. These are normally the butt ends and they're put in at the bottom of the basket. We need the same number of weaving rods as there are uprights. And as we put the last rod in place, we will see that there is one rod coming out of each gap. We can begin weaving anywhere. So our left thumb holds and our right hand weaves and we only weave one stroke inside and out with each rod. Then we move to the left. Again, adjusting the uprights as we go and then holding the weaving rod with our left thumb tight against that upright. When we come to the end of each sequence, the top two rods of the two pairs are held up as we weave the bottom two. And then we begin the sequence again, weaving the rods one stroke at a time. The rounding doesn't have to be always to the right, as we can see in this handle where the rods are woven to the left and the right. Randing is used also in frame baskets where a single rod is woven, one on top of the next. So I hope this video has been useful to you and if you'd like more please subscribe to the Big Green Art YouTube channel.